lot going on. A lot going on in the Pokemon market, a lot going on in the Pokemon competitive space. You can let me know in the comment section. I'm not going to talk about the Pokemon competitive TCG right now. As far as the changes go, I can make a video regarding my thoughts on that. If you so wish, you can let me know in the comment section down below. But I am curious to hear what your thoughts are. Obviously, best finish limits have changed. Uh, the invite structure for Worlds in 2025 has also changed. It looks like regionals are going to be scaled back quite a bit. They released the regional sites uh, for the United States, for some other uh, countries as well, for up until December, or up through December. There's only a few of them that are going to be in the United States, so it seems like those are changing a little bit. There's a lot going on, obviously. Getting rid of ties, basically, uh, with the guarantee of day two at seven and two. There's a lot changing. I am curious to know your thoughts uh, on all of that and like I said we can go over that if, if you if you so choose if you think that that would be a good idea to kind of cover I think it's going to impact the game greatly I hope Pokemon reconsiders some of the stuff some of the stuff is fine like the the invite structure I think is okay uh, but there are some areas that I, I worry a little bit about the growth of the game and I think that uh, this takes a step back from that and maybe maybe part of it is just because the game got too big maybe the hobby just got too big for Pokemon to really control uh, when it comes to a competitive space but whatever 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 it is uh, you can let me know your thoughts uh, down below. We're going to support Pokemon no matter what. So hopefully, uh, I mean, they know they, they're a lot smarter than I am. So uh, I trust what they're doing. I just uh, disagree in some areas, but that's okay. That's uh, constructive. I think that's always a good thing. There's a lot of people who disagree with a lot of stuff that I say. So I completely understand uh, everything, all the thought process, everybody's opinions. I think it's great. Uh, there's also a lot going on as far as Pokemon TCG news when it comes to market releases, market updates. We're going to talk about the market in just a second here. Uh, but some new leaks from Stellar Miracle came out. That set looks absolutely slapping. Uh, obviously, we've got Shrouded Fable coming out in August uh, next month. It's, it's right around the corner. Uh, and then we've got uh, the new uh, Team Rocket set in January. There's a lot of rumblings about that. The new Eevee set that's coming out uh, it looks like in, like, what, November? Like A lot of rumblings about that. That's the high class set. That's going to be very interesting as well. So a lot going on right now uh, when it comes to the, the Pokemon card news, uh, but also the market. And we touched on this a little bit uh, in yesterday's video and the day before, but if you didn't get a chance to watch or you didn't watch all the way through, you may have missed uh, some things. So I'm going to flip you guys around quick before we jump into illustration whereas we're going to look at, this is Giratina V right here. So uh, TCG player is glitch. I don't know what is going on, but this needs to get fixed because there's a lot of people who utilize TCG Player as a resource. Uh, I am not affiliated with TCG Player at all, but I do think I think that it's a great tool for a lot of Pokemon card collectors, a lot of Pokemon card players to use, uh, and there's glitches going on all over the place. So you can see uh, low listings on pretty much everything, and some of these might be legitimate. Like, okay, well, maybe there's only four hidden potential tins, but the Giratina V alternate art right here, only seven listings, as low as $319.95, market price of $3. 89.51 but if you click on it it's not actually seven listings there's 68 listings with a price as low as $300 now obviously uh, that is just a Portuguese one so that's I don't even know if that should really be included and then you've got some lightly played ones down here uh, moderately moderately played ones down here but if you look and this is really what I want to talk about the retrace and this is why it's so important not to FOMO there's a lot of attention being paid to special illustration rares to illustration rares and because of that a lot of quantities are being purchased there's a lot going on in the Pokemon card market because a lot of people are kind of trying to get in without the cards getting too expensive. They're like, well, I don't want to FOMO and spend too much, but I also don't want to not FOMO. I don't want to miss out. And then all of a sudden the, the price skyrockets. So we're going to look at, we're going to look at 15 illustration runners right now. They're just being bought like crazy. It's moving really, really fast. Uh, so you can see though, Giratina V, and this is why it's important not to FOMO. Uh, so we talked about alternate arts a month ago uh, when they were starting this uh, this transcendence, this huge rise going uh, overnight, it seemed like. You can see on April 1st, this card was, what, $288. And then a month and a half later, on May 16th, it was $480.97. So this was borderline a $500 card for an alternate art Giratina V. Now, does demand warrant that? I, I don't know, uh, but obviously not, right? Like, obviously not. And there's a price point. This tells you there's a price point that collectors are like, okay, I'm willing to part with my card at this price point. Now, all of a sudden, it's a race to the bottom. It's lost 20% of its value over the past month. So from May 16th, when it was sitting there at $481, it has dropped all the way down to a market price of $390.60. Now, yes, $390.60 is what this says. This market price is $389.51. Obviously, that's off by a dollar. Again, TCG player is glitching. I have no idea what's going on, uh, but I think part of it is the manipulation factor. I think people are manipulating prices here and there, and I think it's happened quite a bit. Now, 
now it's catching up to TCG Player, and now all of a sudden, uh, their algorithm, their data, their whatever they use, their software, their AI doesn't know how to react. I don't know if that's the case. I'm not smart, so I don't know all that stuff. Uh, but this price, one thing that I do know, has dropped 20% over the past month, which is absolutely crazy. Here's the Blaziken VMAX. This is even a better example right here. So Blaziken VMAX, we talked about the Trainer Gallery about a month ago. A lot of Trainer Gallery cards shooting up. We saw the Umbreon V, the Umbreon VMAX, the Sylveon V, and the Sylveon VMAX from uh, Brilliant Stars. And there was basically four of every single uh, Trainer Gallery, so four from every set uh, that were really starting to grow. And this Blaziken VMAX was one of them. So you saw over here, uh, before I click on that again, 23 listings uh, from $10.49 with a market a price of 13 21 23 listings it's a low amount definitely a low amount but if you look up here there's actually 109 listings uh, so if you're just browsing based off of category or rarity uh, these listing numbers are not correct right now this started a few days ago it's gotten really weird uh, but 109 listings for this blaziken v max market price $13.16, obviously not up to date with what it says here at $13.21, but that's not off by that much. But if you look at where it was, again, May 16th, May 17th, May 18th, it was at $20.48. That was after the boom. So we had this giant boom where it went from a $8.35 card over doubling in price to $20.48, and now it's lost almost all of that back. It's almost lost half of its value over the span of a month, down to $13 or down to uh, $12.46 is where it was a few days ago. Uh, now it's at $13.16. So still a little bit above where it was uh, at the end of April. But if you pan out a little bit, it's starting to come back to where it was. Like it's it's starting to look at that. Like it is just, it's crazy to me how much is going on in the market. And this proves, this proves kind of the theory what TCG Player was talking about, about all these duplicate sales going on, these multiple sales happening where a lot of quantities are being bought on specific days. And then all of a sudden, a lot of people see the attention paid to it and then they want to sell off. Oh, I'm willing to sell off my Blaziken VMAX at $20 because I only paid, you know, $10, $9, $8 for it at one point in time, $6.79. So now it has retraced a lot. And I wanted to showcase that because that has happened with several cards. Now, not every card, but you do remember at one point in time, the Umbreon VMAX had jumped up over $1,000, our first modern card that passed triple digits or quadruple digits when it comes to a card. And now it's retraced back below 900. Now there still are sales that happen over $1,000. And obviously there is a lot of demand for a card like that alternate art Umbreon VMAX. Uh, but for this to be happening to so many different categories, when we start paying attention to these illustration rares, like what we're going to talk about today, uh, a lot of illustration rares that are being bought bought up. Uh, not necessarily bought out, but bought up. The thing to remember is that illustration rares have very attractive pull rates. Now, the amount of illustration rares in a set impact how rare that card is uh, because uh, you have the same pull rate basically throughout the entire Scarlet and Violet generation. But it also depends on the quantity of cards that are being opened or the quantity of packs that are being opened. So a set like Paldea Evolved, for example, which does have that magic card, it is going to have a similar pull rate to any illustration rare from Paradox Rift because you have basically the same amount of illustration rares. However, there has been an exorbitant amount more. I don't even know if that's how you talk. Like, I don't, that, that might not even be how you, I'm supposed to use that word. Uh, but an exorbitant amount more uh, than... Uh, Paldea Evolved has had way more opened uh, than Paradox Rift, and will continue probably because Paldea Evolved has those chases, has uh, is a set that a lot of people really like, really enjoy, and where Paradox Rift seems to be readily available for relatively inexpensive. So we're going to look at this slideshow, and I'm going to point out some things that are kind of worth noting. I did put the amount of quantities that are available as far as listings go, and I did double check. Now these have changed a little bit because uh, these were listings that I pulled a few days ago. So I did verify uh, the quantities that are available on TCG Player. Some of them are are a little bit off now because the data is a little bit out of date, but it should be fairly close to accurate. Here's the EV right now uh, from Twilight Masquerade. Uh, this card started out very, very low. It started out at $25. I know that's not really that low for a Pokemon card. $25 is still relatively expensive, uh, but shot up quite a bit, jumped up to $46.63. And then when it looked like it was going to retrace back to maybe $30 or so, $35, somewhere around there, it kind of leveled off a little bit. Now it's starting to tick up a little bit, but with 50 listings and not as much Twilight Masquerade being open as what we've seen in previous sets because the pull rates are so rough. Uh, this card might continue to stay above $40 or maybe even trend up to that $50 mark. Right now it's sitting at $42.09, uh, but definitely starting this little trend in the upward direction. Here's the Magikarp. Obviously this card is bonkers. Uh, we just hit uh, basically our first illustration rare that's over $100, closing in on $150, but you can see what it's done over the last year. Now it was very steady, slow growth from basically July of 2023 all the way up until May of 2024. 
And then it took that next step forward, whether it was buyouts or whatever, manipulation, whatever you want to call it, it jumped up to over $100. So it basically gained about 30% over the course of a couple weeks. A lot of these cards did the same, but not sustainable. It was not sustainable. And that's why you've got all these retraces going on. Magikarp did sustain and now it's continuing to grow. It took another step forward over the past couple weeks, went from about $120 now up to $143. It's sitting at $143.95, but continuing to trend in the upward direction. Here's the Ghastly right here. This card has been so up and down all over the place ever since release. At one point in time, it was down to $16.41. That was in the middle of April. Then it started bouncing up a little bit. Then it started leveling out. And now it's trended back up again, uh, closing in on that $38.39 uh, high point since it's been out. It did drop a little bit now, sitting at $30.73, but still close to double where it was uh, a couple months ago. And this makes buying Pokemon cards extremely difficult because the market is so volatile right now. Uh, and the last thing you want to do, and this is why it's important right now to just kind of pay attention, see what's going on, but don't FOMO, don't pull the trigger on a lot of cards because you don't want to regret it later on. And if you see a card that you are willing to pay a price for, then go, go after it. But don't don't let these trends, these graphs really impact your decision making uh, because it is so volatile right now and that's not a good idea. Uh, here's the Chansey from Twilight Masquerade. This is the one that's probably making the most noise. A lot of sales uh, from this Chansey over the past several days. Uh, when I put this slideshow together, there was only 24 listings available on TCG Player and it was really trending up. A lot of sales that had happened basically going through a buyout. It was at $10.92 uh, in the middle of June, uh, right around June 12th. Uh, and since then, it's almost doubled in price. So it's at $18 and 69 cents now when i looked earlier today it was a little bit higher than that a little bit over 20 dollars but continuing to trend in the upward direction on that one here's the grout on starting to retrace a little bit this is from paradox rift as well uh, but still way above where it was in march of 2024 that was when it was at its low point of 22 dollars and 42 cents uh, but then like a lot of these other cards started getting bought up and then it jumped all the way up to 64 dollars and 28 cents now it's lost about 10 15 percent of that uh, but still sitting at 52 dollars and 43 cents so still over double where it was in March of 2024. The Charmander, one that still has quite a bit of listings, but a lot of illustration rares, a lot of 151 uh, singles are starting to trend upward a little bit. Even the special illustration rare Charizard EX from uh, Scarlet and Violet 151 starting to trend in that upward direction. And part of that is just because of availability. There's not as much uh, packs being cracked right now because there's not as much availability at getting it. I think we were talking in Wednesday's stream about how Costco still has the bundle deal or, or still has the UPC deal uh, where you can find the Ultra Premium Collection for like $80, $90, something like that. If you check your local Costco, I don't know if that's still going on. I don't have a Costco really too close to me, uh, but definitely something to look into if you want to open up some 151 packs, but very difficult until a reprint gets announced, which we haven't had any word of yet. Um, you might see some of these cards really start uh, tricking upwards or trickling upwards a little bit. Uh, in May of 2024, this was down to $23.47, uh, but it's gained about 25% back, 30% uh, back over the last couple months. It's sitting at $31.10, still a little off of its high point of $33.48, but definitely trending in that upward direction. Here's the Raichu. This one has uh, retraced a little bit, but for the most part leveled off. It did hit $43.67 at the beginning of June, sitting at $40.84 right now, so only about an 8-9% swing right there, but still way up from where it was in December of 2023 when it was at $15.18. Not as many listings available, uh, but partly because of the demand of the card. Uh, here's the Pikachu from 151. This one trended up a lot over the past couple of months from May specifically until the middle of June. It was at $15.50 uh, in May of 2024. It gained about 30% uh, over the next month or so. It jumped up to $20.74. It's sitting at $19.63 currently. Uh, but again, very volatile, very cyclical, moving all over the place. Here's the Ninetales from Obsidian Flame. I didn't think we would see an Obsidian Flames card on here, uh, but alas, here we are. Here's the Ninetales jumping up like crazy over the past couple months. A beautiful card, uh, but it has jumped up like crazy since May of 2024. It's basically doubled in price. It was at $5.58. Now, the big thing to remember for uh, Obsidian Flames is a small amount of illustration errors, a small amount of special illustration errors, uh, but the pull rates remain consistent. And we talked about this a lot when we were explaining rarities and what pull rates actually look like in the Scarlet and Violet generation. Uh, and my theory about why Obsidian Flames is the set that changed pull rates for Scarlet and Violet because it was too easy to pull some of those higher rarity cards uh, and that made these higher rarity cards more difficult to pull uh, than the regular arts or than even some of the holographic rares. So 
or some of the reverse hollow uncommons. Uh, so basically jumping from March of 2024 when it was at $5.58, it shot up to about $10 right now and continuing to trend in that upward direction. Here's the Ralts from Scarlet and Violet Base. This one also trending up quite a bit. You can see uh, very level from September of 2023 all the way up until May of 2024. It was hovering right around that $9 mark. Uh, now shot up about 60% over the past month and a half. It's sitting at $15.63 currently. Lots of copies being bought. Still lots available. And again, I do want to emphasize a lot. Uh, pull rates are still consistent throughout the entire Scarlet and Violet generation when it comes to illustration runners. You're still going to get about three per booster box, about one out of every 12 packs. Uh, so this is going to be very volatile until things settle down quite a bit. So definitely don't pull the trigger on any of these uh, when they start moving up to these price points. When you see unnatural growth, unorganic growth like this, uh, very crazy to look at the, the Ralts line. Uh, I mean, I'll leave it up to you to decide if this is organic organic growth or not. Uh, very cool storyline with the Ralts, the Curlia, and the Gar Gardevoir, obviously, you put them together. We all know, like, there's a lot of people who are big fans of those art story cards. Uh, I am one of them, for example. I think it's great when you can put the cards together and it makes a picture. It adds a whole nother level of uh, collectability, in my opinion. But this one, very, very cool. Is it worth $15.63? I don't know if it's worth the growth that it's seen over the past month and a half. To me, uh, that seems a little sus. So, uh, up to you to decide that. Here's the Evital from Paradox Rift. This one has moved a lot over the past month and a half as well. Uh, low amounts of listings that are available on TCG Player. I did check this one's a little bit higher now. I think there was like 38 listings available on TCG Player right now, but started trending up a little bit from February of 2024 up until May of 2024. That was slow growth right there. And then basically shot up from like a $7 card up to a $14.91 card. So basically doubled in price from the middle of May up until the middle of June. And now it's sitting at $14.91 currently continuing to trend in the upward direction. The Infernape I put on here because of the low listing count from Twilight Masquerade uh, was at $5.21. Now it's trended upward a little bit. It's sitting at $6.48, so still really affordable, relatively inexpensive. Uh, but when I looked earlier today, the amount of listings was a little bit higher. I think it was at like 68 listings available. But when you compare that to some of the other quantities, we looked at the Charmander from 151, for example. Uh, there was over 120 available. So a lower listing count, especially when you compare it to its counterparts from Twilight Masquerade, other illustration rares. Uh, there's le less of these available, of the Infernape available. So definitely one to keep your eye on as we move forward. Here's the Metagross from Temporal Forces. This one has grown a lot over the last month as well. Uh, you can see in May, middle of May, May 13th, it was at $4.54. Again, doubled in price over the past month. Shot up to $10.21. Low listings available on TCG Player. This one was accurate when I looked at it uh, and continuing to trend in the upward direction. Very cool looking card, uh, but it's seen some substantial growth over the past month. Here's the Steelix from Paradox Rift. We talked about this one in an earlier video as well. This one was at $10.21 in February of 2024. Again, it's retraced a little bit, but for the most part, leveled out. It's sitting at $24.47 currently. A little bit down from its $26.11 high point, uh, but again, low list count on that one. And then the last one that we're going to look at is Heracross from Paldea Evolved. This one has seen uh, almost double growth over the past month and a half. Again, this one from Paldea Evolved. It's been out for a while, but with so many illustration rares in Paldea Evolved and Paldea Evolved being a lot more expensive right now, we are seeing a lot of illustration rares from Paldea Evolved really start to trend upward. In February of 2024, this was sitting at $6.17. Slow growth up until May of 2024. It was right around $8. So it was growing organically, uh, but then really a lot of attention started getting paid to illustration rares, low listing counts on TCG player, and it shot up like crazy and now it's sitting at $12.23 after almost doubling in price. So definitely uh, some cards to keep an eye on. The important thing to take away is there's a lot going on in the Pokemon market right now. And usually when a lot goes on, that's usually when I kind of close my wallet up and I'm like, I'm just going to let the dust settle on this. I'm going to focus on the stuff that's coming out. Obviously, if you want to pay a little bit of attention to Shrouded Fable, uh, go nuts. There seems to be some really cool cards in that set that's coming out. But uh, with the EV heroes or the, the new EV set that got announced uh, and and the new Team Rocket set. We don't have a whole lot of information on those, but uh, my best advice that I could possibly give uh, is uh, wait for those sets. Like, have fun with those sets. Rip some product. You know that that stuff will be readily available at decent pricing, uh, whereas some of these singles right now are just kind of losing their minds. Let the dust settle a little bit. Have fun. Focus on a different area of Pokemon, uh, because right now this market is just so volatile. I have no idea what's going on. And if you do, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Go a long way for the algorithm but most importantly thank you just for taking the time to listen to me ramble for 20 minutes i love pokemon i love you guys it's just fun to talk about and i, I really appreciate you guys giving me uh this space to kind of let out uh whatever you guys are amazing thank you so much i'll talk to you again tomorrow till next time peace